Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike the Bowtie Rider. I hope the new decade is treating you well. So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video going over the theoretical framework, the basics of a sales process. It's necessary background. So if you haven't seen that video yet, there should be a card somewhere here-ish that you can click, go watch that video, and then come back. We're going to take that theory we covered last time out for a spin. We're gonna talk about mistakes people make while trying to pitch their book. I've got some authors here to pitch me their books just like they would do through social media, just like they would do through Twitter. Let's go ahead and head downstairs and see what they've got. Hold on, hold on. We might need this. Let's go ahead and get this started. Yeah. Um, Hey, so I, uh, I don't, I don't normally do this kind of thing, um, but I, 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 I just don't want to be that guy doing promo stuff, you know, so I don't kind of do that very often, but I, I guess I really should because that book's coming out. So, so just uh, sorry up front, I apologize, but this is going to be one of those little bits of self-promotion. So <laughs> first of all, don't equivocate. This person was so busy telling me that they were so uncomfortable that they never got around to telling me about their book. What's sort of funny about this is that they were so worried about being intrusive. Honestly, if they'd just thrown a quick hook out there, it would have been a lot less intrusive. Next. Hi. So, yeah, um, we'll get started. Hello? I know who this is. Oh, hold on. Ron, is that you? Ron's book on sale for 99 cents. No, just go away. Yeah, that's go away, Ron. Ron. You're not invited. Sorry about that. Sorry, he's really annoying. No, no, it's Go it's ahead, fun. go ahead. Uh, go ahead, give me your pitch. So, my book is called The Chronicles of Xandervine. Here's the thing. Titles in and of themselves are generally too abstract to be effective hooks on their own. Now, there are exceptions. Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky, but those exceptions are generally few and far between. The Chronicles of Xandervine, I don't know if that's some epic fantasy, I don't know if this is some literary retelling or something historical that I just don't know about. By itself, it doesn't tell me enough. In fact, if your title is really abstract, honestly, you don't even need it at the hook stage. It's important, especially at the engagement step where they're asked for more information and need to be able to look it up later, but at the hook stage, you don't need it. Next. So, so yeah, man, thanks for having me. Really excited Glad to be here. Glad you're excited, uh, go ahead. I got something really cool. Check this out. That man, that my man, is my cover art. One of my buddies, super talented artist, and man, we talked a lot. He gets it. Cover art is actually really interesting. When you're dealing with a physical bookstore, cover art is one of the most important parts of a hook because physical bookstores are so tactile. In fact, in my last marketing video, I explicitly showed that. And that's because when you have a long shelf of books, interesting visual cover art is an important way to attract and draw the eye. But context really matters. When you start talking about social media, it's different. Ron. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, just stopping by, that's all. Just stopping by, that's all. Anyone Ron, what are you, what are you, what are you doing here? here? What are you doing here? I told you, you weren't invited. By. Not after that's what all. happened last time. Oh, 
Okay. You're not no, allowed to pitch it. anymore. Okay. No, fine. just go. Okay, okay, fine, Mike, fine. No need to get rude. Okay, sorry about that. What was I saying? Right, yeah. It's different because on social media, you don't see the glorious, large, 4K, full cover art experience that's big and easy for you to see. On social media, you see this. Next. Hey. Um. Um. Ninjas versus dinosaurs. That, that's actually an awesome pitch. Yeah, uh, go ahead, tell me more. So, some people give great pitches, but that's all they give. They don't give any links to additional information. They don't even give a link to their website if they even have a website. So, speaking of websites, I actually have one now. MikeHeadleyAuthor.com. There's a link to it down below. There's a lot of general information there. There's additional writing resources. And in particular, there's supplemental blog posts to every one of these videos going forward to talk about additional detail, a little behind the scenes stuff, and stuff that I couldn't get to fully in the video itself. So feel free to check that out. Now, back to the video itself. So for the engagement step to be smooth, it's very important that you have a clear link for someone to follow to learn from more information about your story. Don't just throw a pitch out there by itself. That doesn't work. Next. Oh. Hey, so pre-Civil War America, but with wizards. The Confederates have a cabal of wizards. They want to assassinate Lincoln before he is inaugurated. And in order to do that, it is up to Timothy Fitch and a Frenchman, Nigel Devereaux, to help try and... and? All right, Ron, you can come pitch next, but stop interrupting. Sorry. Yeah, no, uh, thanks. I'm glad you want to hear more. So it was an idea that struck me almost 10 years ago, actually. 10 years ago. I, I think I remember I actually got the idea. I was reading a book on Fort Sumter, and actually it, my grandpa had given me the book. And actually, so it was kind of a special book to me. And I was reading this book, and I was starting to think more and more about Civil War America. I've always been a history buff. I've really enjoyed it. My grandpa helped me with it. You know, it's just, it's been something that I've been really passionate about. And so that was about 10 years ago. And then going on five years ago, I was rereading that book on Fort Sumter. And I when people are in the engagement step, they want to learn more about the book that you are trying to pitch them. The most common mistake I see here, the author goes on a long, long rant telling us their life story and telling us everything about it and their history and how the story idea came about. And we, we don't care about that at this point. We don't care. Tell us more about the experience. So save your author bio for a different page or for the back of your book. That's it. All right, Ron, I know you're out there listening. Your turn. Oh, you won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed, boss. Let me tell you, this is sales. I rocket sales. Ninety-nine R Ron, cents. Ron, Ron, that's that's Stand not a pitch. Buy Just, my that's, book. That's that's not a pitch. Ninety-nine cents. That's that's not 99 a pitch. Ninety-nine cents. Buy my book. Stop. Ninety-nine stop. cents. No. Th that's ninety-nine not. cents. Stop. That stop. is how you sell a book. That is how stop. you do it. Yeah. Let Ron tell you that's what Ron. you do. That is how you sell. Okay, that's the pitches that I had for today. I hope you learned something from these mistakes because this is something that I see literally every single week, especially now that it's the new year and people are really excited to announce their books that are coming out. It happens a lot. I've raved before and I'll rave again. I do think marketing is so important because so many people know these basic mistakes. Again, the standard disclaimer, marketing is a huge, huge subject. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but I, I promise you even just avoiding these basic mistakes will make your pitches more compelling. If you have any questions about this, fire away down below in the comments or catch me on Twitter. I'd be happy to try and answer them.
Reminder that if you enjoy content like this, every single one of my videos now also has a supplemental blog post on my website. There's a link down below in the doobly-doo. Feel free to go there and check it out for just additional content, additional behind the scenes information or additional topics that I don't have time to get into full detail on in the video itself. And that's it, that's all I have for this week. I'm Mike the Bowtie Rider. I'll see you all next time. Be kind to yourselves. You can do this. Time to close that deal. You're a salesman. You got this. 99 cents. 99 cents. 99 cents. <sighs> Ow, oh, I pulled my hoodie and it hit my nose. Ow. Ow. Oh, that was dumb. To remove mustache, just pull on the spirit gum firmly. Okay, hold firmly. I can do that. I can do that. One, two, three. Boom!